best 5R Smart Glasses 2023 are offered in wide variety, each with unique features, benefits, and prices. I did a massive amount of research, reviewed a ton of reviews, and put up a list of the best 5R Smart Glasses from trustworthy brands to assist you in making a decision. After extensive investigation, I discovered these goods to benefit people like you. If you are curious to learn more about the price and other information, be sure to read my description. Without further ado let's watch the video. Number 1. Henry Lair R Glasses The Henry Lair is primarily constructed of plastic, just like its light predecessor. While the air looks similar to regular sunglasses, there are some noticeable differences. For starters, at 2.78 ounces, 79 grams, they're heavier than most traditional sunglasses. In addition, the top portion of the frame is much thicker, as this is where the dual LED displays are housed. Those displays then project their image down onto the lenses in front of your eyes. You cannot wear regular glasses with the air, but a frame is included to add your prescription lenses. At the end of the left arm, you'll find a USB Type-C port that accepts a USB-C cable, included in the box. For plugging directly into an Android smartphone, computer or Steam Deck. There are three included nose grips, one of which is already installed on the glasses, a black plastic shade to block out light, making them more akin to virtual reality glasses, and a compact case to hold everything. If you want to connect to an Android device, Windows PC or M1 Mac, all the hardware you need to get started comes in the box A namely, the USB-C cable. The air draws power from these devices, so only the USB-C cable is needed for power and audio, video. The adapter features an integrated battery providing up to 3 hours of playback since the glasses won't get power from USB Type-C. Reel also says you can go from 0 to 40% battery in 30 minutes using a USB-C charger. You'll need to keep this in mind when playing games with a Nintendo Switch or watching videos on an iPhone. Reel says that the air projects a 130-inch virtual screen 4 meters away from you with their casting mode which is the mode that I primarily used, there's also a Mr. Spaces mode that we'll discuss later. It's this vast viewing area that makes consuming content like movies, TV shows and playing games so enjoyable. The image doesn't completely fill your field of view you can still see the environment around you in your periphery, even with the black plastic light blocker installed. The integrated speakers do a decent job with sound and will work in a pinch. Music sounds lifeless and lacks space, while in-game audio similarly lacks depth. Instead, I recommend using a decent set of wireless earbuds or headphones. Besides, if you're using the glasses in close quarters, like on an airplane, I doubt that other passengers want to hear whatever sound is emanating from the air's speakers. Getting up and running with a console is a somewhat cumbersome process due to the adapters and wires the glasses require. While testing the relay with a docked Nintendo Switch, I first inserted the included HDMI dongle into the real adapter and plugged in an HDMI cable. The other end of the cable plugs directly into the Nintendo Switch dock. Finally. I plugged the USB-C cable from the relay into the adapter and turned on the Nintendo Switch. After a few seconds, the glasses displayed the familiar image of the console's home screen. Mr. Spaces is an interface provided by the Nebula app that Unreal has designed that allows you to customize your own virtual workspace. You can see more of your workspace as you move your head left and right. You can rearrange apps to your choosing and have multiple windows open simultaneously. You can also resize those windows to your liking. If you can't see everything you want on the screen, simply turn your head to see the rest. Number 2. Rokid Air R Glasses The glasses are comfortable and the flexible arms hinges ensure that the glass will fit most head sizes without pressing too much thanks to the padding at the rear end of the arms. While in use, heat might be a concern but the Rokid Air's heating is barely noticeable, if at all. When worn thanks to the metal heat conduction system it adopts to dissipate heat. For further comfort customization, the Rokid Air features adjustable, or even malleable, nose pads which you can easily and manually adjust the width of to fit your nose bridge comfortably. There's also the option to adjust for diopters, or how close, 
far the screen is from your eye, on each individual lens with a dedicated knob and can help prevent the need for glasses while using. However, for people like me with astigmatism, this approach is not optimal as images can still be blurry even when adjusting with the knobs. An option to include lens inserts as in real light and mad gaze gaze glow plus allow would have been very welcome in a rokadia. Around the middle of each arm, you can notice small speakers that direct audio towards your ears when worn. The audio output is pretty decent and crisp, even making it appropriate to listen to music or viewing videos through the glasses. The way the Rokad Air functions is similar to the Real Light and Mad Gaze Glow Plus. By plugging in your phone, the latter will power the R glasses and the phone's screen is mirrored to a small screen featured on top of the Rokad Air and a series of mirrors help display that mirrored screen as a hologram in front of your eyes. Given that you are looking at a projection, the effect is rather gentle on the eyes, as compared to staring directly at a screen, somewhat akin to a projector. In its most basic form, the mirrored screen will be just like holding your phone in front of your eyes. The screen will move wherever you move your head, or glasses. In addition to phones, this basic mirror mode is compatible with PCs and consoles, PS4, Xbox and Switch with an appropriate adapter, as Rokit says but is not sold by the company as far as I know. But, truth be told, this is rather basic and not a very convincing our experience. At this point, it feels like the Rokad Air can still be fleshed out with more features that hopefully the company will bring to it. Ideally, these should have been available at launch and not have users wait on new features, especially since it is still not a cheap device and there are more features that could be added. In addition to the lacking features highlighted here, it would make for a more compelling experience to be able to have multiple windows open at once, especially to multitask. Say you could open Spotify and choose your playlist while writing a document and doing some adjacent research online. Another feature that would be handy would be the ability to resize the window and adjust its location. These would work in, work in tandem with multi-windows as you can make screens that you aren't using much smaller and enlarge and reposition those you are focusing on. These are already features existing in the real light and Rokad could take some inspiration to offer an experience as compelling as its competitor. And already, Roka told me that they are working on such features and I look forward to testing them once they roll out. If the company does come up with new features in future updates, I will happily update the review to highlight the number 3. Ray Bad Stories Wayfarer smart glasses. Unlike every other pair of smart sunglasses I've seen, Facebook partnered with an actual well known sunglasses company, Ray Ban, for design and branding. The Ray Ban stories I have are based on the Wayfarer style Ray Ban glasses, but everything is just a little bigger. The stems are a little wider to make room for the speakers and battery, and the rims are a little wider to make room for the camera and LED. You probably wouldn't be able to tell the difference between the Wayfarer stories and classic Wayfarer glasses unless you had them side by side. Basically, they look great. The glasses are comfortable. They aren't too heavy and don't really feel like they are clamping my head too much. They also don't feel like they're going to fall off easily which is good. These are much better quality than the equally priced Bose frames and slightly cheaper Echo frames. Because these are smart glasses, you can find a few pieces of tech in here. There are two 5MP cameras, two open-air speakers, three microphones, and four gigabytes of storage. On the right stem is a capacitive area that controls media playback and volume while the button on the top of the stem is a shutter button. On the inside on the left stem is a switch that you can use to turn the glasses on, off, or pair them to your phone. These run on a Qualcomm chip, for whatever that's worth, and are, all in all, probably the most advanced smart sunglasses on the market right now. In the box you get the carrying case charger, cleaning cloth, and a USB-C cable. Unlike most other smart glasses, the Ray-Ban store is charged in the case. On the back of the right hinge is a hidden connector that becomes accessible when the stems are folded back, meaning as long as the glasses are in the case, they're charging. The case has a USB-C port on the back. It is worth noting that outside of the Facebook View app used for connecting and controlling the glasses on, on your phone, 
there is no Facebook or Meta branding on these glasses at all. The case has a Ray-Ban logo and the glasses have the logo on each stem. The sound quality from the Ray-Ban stories are honestly not bad. It's better than the Bose frames and Amazon Echo frames Gen 2. It still doesn't compare to something like a pair of traditional earbuds, but lacks the warmth and richness of most audio products. It's not something that will impress anyone. But it is nice to have. It's something that is nice to have at the beach instead of earbuds, but really won't replace your earbuds. The camera quality on the glasses, on the other hand, is pretty bad. There is awful HDR to the camera and you need to stand still with no movement in this frame for a good picture to be taken. The video is fine at best. But I really never found myself taking videos. I strongly believe the point of the camera on these glasses was just to say they have a camera rather than any useful Facebook or Meta features. There are two 5MP cameras that can take both photos and videos. The glasses can take 30 plus 30 second videos or 500 plus photos. I would have loved to test the 4 GB storage capacity to put it to its limits. But once it syncs the photos with your phone it deletes them off the glasses. You will probably never hit the 4 GB limit. Number 4. Bose Frames Tenor Smart Glasses The Bose frames look similar to many ordinary pairs of plastic framed sunglasses fitted with polarized lenses. There are currently two styles available as the square framed Alta is similar to Ray-Ban's Wayfarer sunglasses, while the Ronto is rounder smaller and looks a bit more retro. Whichever model you choose, the frames only come in black. The arm design may not be to everyone's liking, as these are quite bulky on both designs. It's a necessary compromise as that's where all the tech is housed, including the batteries, motion sensors, microphone, speakers and Bluetooth circuitry. That said, it's not what you'd always want from a pair of more expensive sunglasses. That's especially the case as the mate black material Bose has used doesn't feel like it's made with high quality plastic. This could also be why the frames are so incredibly light though, with both styles weighing around 45 grams. The lenses feel a little cheap and plasticky, although in use they're clear, uniformly tinted and, Bose claims, Block 99% of UV rays. We found them to be comfortable to wear in direct sunlight, and they seem to do the basic job of shielding our eyes from rays. Image credit, tech radar. Image credit, tech radar. Image credit, tech radar. The lenses are also interchangeable and can easily be popped out for a different color, although choices are currently limited to a mirrored silver for the Alto and a rose gold set for the Ronto. It's worth noting how much bigger the Alto glasses are than the Ronto. Some people we handed them to with smaller heads found they wouldn't sit on their face, so the size difference is something to consider here if you buy some. The Bose Ronto's arms are 154 mm long while the front of the glasses comes in at 142 mm. The Alto are quite, are quite a bit bigger at 162 mm arm length and 148 mm across the front. They're both X2 water resistance rated which, for a product meant for outdoor use, is lower than we'd like. They'll be able to take a few drops of rain, but you'll likely need to keep them out of a downpour. Then again, wearing sunglasses in the rain is a whole new world of looking like a fool. A tiny gold button A to match the gold-plated steel hinges A is tucked under the right arm, and is the only control on the frames. Physically, this sits beside your right temple and that, unfortunately, makes it very easy to click accidentally when adjusting the frames on your face. That gold button's main use when the glasses are on is to pause or play audio, and it allows you to pick up incoming phone calls too, which you can take thanks to the integrated microphone. It doesn't allow you to change the volume volume though. To do that you'll have to use your phone. Number 5. Epson Moverio BT40 Full HD 1080p Binocular smart glasses with USB-C connectivity for a plug-and-play experience with compatible smartphones, tablets and PCs. Featuring outstanding image quality, convenient connectivity and an ultra-comfortable design, Epson Moverio BT40 smart glasses take personal augmented reality experiences to the next level. Epson CO-LED technology ensures crisp, bright images, while Full HD 1080p binocular displays deliver remarkable detail.
A wide 34 degrees field of view offers stunning visual displays 8 to users, it's as if they're viewing a 120 screen from 16 away. Fully transparent, the Moverio BT40 displays allow users to keep an eye on their surroundings, even while viewing content. It's the perfect way to integrate digital information with the outside world. This heads up. Second screen experience makes it easy to complete ta tasks more efficiently and keep what you're viewing private. Plug and play USB Type-C connectivity enables users to seamlessly view and control content from a wide range of devices, including compatible smartphones, tablets and laptops. One, just connect the device and easily mirror the screen right in your line of sight, all from a natural comfortable viewing position. Easily manage your content and apps with Epson's free Moverio Link Android app. Developed to replicate the familiar, comfortable fit of conventional prescription glasses, the ergonomic headset features advanced weight distribution, flexible tempo hinges and optional nose pads. Enjoy viewing content for long durations without experiencing discomfort. The USB-C connectivity, Built-in head tracking sensors and latest see-through optical technology make the Moverio BT40 ideal for app developers looking to create new and innovative R experiences. 1. Only com compatible with devices that support DisplayPort out mode over USB-C. There is no guarantee that this product will function normally with the use of a USB splitter or conversion cable. 2. Equivalent to looking at a 120 diagonal image size from 15 away. 3. For convenient and reasonable recycling options, visit www.epson.com slash recycle4. Smartway is an innovative partnership of the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency that reduces greenhouse gases and other air pollutants and improves fuel efficiency.